Hello. This is a video on how to play the card game Memory. Uh, Memory is a very, very, very simple card game. Uh, perhaps the simplest one out there. Um, and so what you'll need is a standard 52 card deck, um, as well as uh, two or more players. Um, and so in this case, we're only playing with two players, but keep in mind, uh, you can play with um, any number of players. Um, and so there's no real limit. Um, and so you'll just need a 52 card deck once again. Um, um, and so what you'll do is you'll place all the cards face down into rows or columns. And so you have uh, 13 cards here in four rows, right? 13 cards per row in four rows. Um, and so that's all 52 cards uh, just placed um, in rows or columns. It doesn't matter. Um, this is just the arrangement we have right now. Uh, if you want to place 10 cards, 10, 10, 10, and then the last four. I mean, it's ideally, ideally you want a proper square or rectangle. Um, and so you don't want like 50 here and then two here, right? That doesn't really make sense. Uh, you could go with, um, I guess, any arrangement. I'd stick with 13 and 4. I think it works really well. Uh, but any arrangement where you can get a row of cards in the sequence in a square or a rectangle works. Um, and so you'll place all the cards face down into rows and columns. Uh, the objective of the game is to flip over the most pairs in the same card ring. And so the first player will flip over two cards, one card at a time. If the cards are not the same rank, they are flipped back over and play moves to the next player. If the cards flipped are the same rank, the pair is kept and the player gets to go again. Players can need to continue to take turns until all the cards have been matched. It is essential to pay attention while other players are taking turns to try to remember where cards are located. To, uh, once all the pairs have been matched, the players count how many pairs they collected during the game. The player with the most pairs wins the game. It's very that, it's like, it's that, it's that simple. It's really that simple. Um, it's very, very simple. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll just do a quick demo. 7 and 4. It's not the same. 4 and 4. It's the same. 10 and 7. It's not the same. 7 and 7. It is the same. So notice how I remembered where my opponent flipped. Uh, once you fl get a successful pair, you get to also go again. Uh, that's something I forgot to highlight here. Um, and so an ace and a king. Not the same. An 8 and a 9. Not the same. A jack and a nine, not the same. He knows that's a nine and a nine, and he's gonna take that. A jack and a jack, he's gonna take that. Queen and a king, seven, no. A six and a king, nope. He knows there's a king and a king there. Oh, so you forgot. I'm gonna go with a king and a king. Oh no, oh no, I messed up. I myself forgot where this, where it was. Seven and nope. Seven and six, five and queen. Seven, nope. Okay, but really you just want to try to remember where cards are. If they're the same rank, you pair them. It's literally that simple. That's how you play memory. Um, and so, just watch me play. Literally. Uh, remember, if you get a successful pair, uh, then you get to keep going. So look how simple this game is. It's a very, very simple game. Uh, Nope, you're gonna take take that pair. Oh no. So look how simple this game is. Very, very simple. Um so So there's two aces right there, I know that. Two fours right there, I know that. I think that'll be a three, yeah. Some of these are just lucky guesses as well.
It's called memory for a reason. Then you see who has the most pairs. I had 38 of the cards. He only had 14 of the cards. I win the game. That's how to play memory. It's quite a simple game. Thank you for watching.